Hello everyone, it's Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations and today I'm going to show you my finished design team project. This is the envelope journal and if you didn't see the video of how I put this together I will link that one below. Um, she turned out to be quite the little chunk and she's not even full so <laughs> I figured um, I better stop because I, I could have just gone on and on and on with this. So here she is. Let's get started. All right. So this is just um, a free piece of, you know, it's not attached or anything. It's just some um, seam binding. And so here's the cover. There's the back, which we'll we'll get to. There it is from the top. Without the uh, the tie on there, it gets it gets pretty pretty wide. So, all right. So first we have a pocket here, and I just put a piece of folded up paper in there. Here's an envelope. And I left this on there. I thought that was kind of cool looking. And then there's just some embellishment. And then on this side, I have a pocket. A little tag. This is also just a piece of blank something I just put in there just to, just for demo purposes. Nothing special about that. Then we have this right here is kind of like a whole page. I think I messed up with something and I don't, I don't know, but it, it worked out. It's fine. Um, so I took the flap of this envelope and glued it in the middle. So I have two little tucks here. So I just made these little, these little gems you could write on the back. These are all from the kit, all the decoration, everything is all from the kit, which I will link below, of course. And then this is a real vintage envelope, stamped 1915, and it's from Alpha Floral Company. So I left it as a pocket. It's pretty delicate, so I gotta be careful. But inside, I made this journal card. And this tab is actually one of the um, paperclip, um, the hidden paperclip template. <laughs> I couldn't think. And this is just a page from, from the journal. So I thought that was really pretty. And then back here, we have another pocket and then I just made a couple plain journal cards for now. This is also a page from the kit. I cut it in half. Just made some some journal cards. And on the back here I just have some embellishing and this could be writing space. And then more writing space here. And you flip over and we have this tiny little envelope which is in the kit and let's see if I can get that up there we go I made a little closure out of a wine bottle that is from one of the pages I think you'll see it somewhere else in here but then there's this cute little journal card there so I just made that into a a closure for the envelope so it wouldn't be sticking up and then I made a pocket here and then there's a pocket back here so just some, some little tags and these kind of hold this closed which is a pocket and then I just put a journal page in there That holds that closed. Here we have another real vintage envelope 
from 1926 and it flips out so we have another journal page in here because this was all you know envelopes and made of pockets I had to if you want a journal I created hopefully enough journal space in here and this is a little embellishment you could write on here if you wanted to or add another pocket the pocket here with this pretty tag okay so let me turn the page this could be more writing space we do have a pocket with a couple more journaling cards some of this is just for demonstration purposes so you know obviously anything can be put in here and then this could be more writing space as well. Then we have another journal card. This is just from the collage page from the kit. And then we have a pocket here. Is that another journal card? And then I put in just a small signature. There's three pages. So I just wanted to give more, more writing space if wanted or more decorating space. On the back though, I created this uh, tuck. These medallions are from the kit. And then here's a tag. And then there's a pocket here. I don't have anything in there, but there is a pocket there. And then this pocket. And then this is one of the the pages from the kit. So I just thought that was cute to keep that all together. And I just stenciled on the back. And so it looks like it's a menu that you've kept. Here we have another real envelope. This one's 1942. Not, not quite as old, but it's still, the envelope is is cool and there's a pocket there I didn't put anything in there and there's the back you can see where the glue has seeped through I think that's really cool but this could be written on then we have a pocket here this could be journal space as well and then this was a picture on one of the pages so I just cut it out and made it this is a page from the the kit so I just backed it and so that's a nice journaling card in there forget how I had that <laughs> then we have another envelope here and I just put in another journal page and the reason I have it in like this is because the back side I left the window so you can see you know what's in there of course this can be closed or not closed I just went ahead and left it and we have an envelope here with a simple little cluster and it's just a pocket I don't have anything in there here we have an envelope down here that's a pocket so I just backed a tag with that and this opens. We have our cute little journal card. It's kind of tight fitting. There we go. And then I just circle punched a, a circle there to help keep that closed. Here we have a little tuck behind here. So this is just another little little journal spot. So this whole thing is a is a little tuck. And then we have this. I left this open. But this whole thing comes out. Okay. And we have a pocket on this side with a journal card. And we have a pocket on this side. This is also a page from the kit, so I just cut around it. There's another journal card, but I wanted this 
to show through this big envelope so that's why I created it that way so that shows through and we have another envelope here this could be writing space plus a pocket to which I added oh, this is kind of difficult <laughs> just a piece of journal paper and then on the back the spell out. We just have the flap and you could write here if you want but again this is glued just in the center so you have uh, two little tucks on the back. And there we go. There's the project. We'll tie her back up. There's I couldn't think of like any sort of permanent closure but I think this this works just fine and it's pretty so all right so there we go design team project for August I love the kit had such beautiful papers and so much to work with in there she always does a great job of of adding lots of fussy cuts and I think I pretty much used every fussy cut I have like five or six pieces left so it, it was great to do this kind of journal with that. So, there we go, folks. Thank you so much for joining me and, and watching this flip through. I appreciate it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and see what other fun things we make here. And uh, until next time. Bye-bye.